it's an exciting time at the Cincinnati Zoo. It may be winter, might be a little chilly. The hippos aren't out swimming right now, but they've been active and we've got an exciting story. I'm here with Dr. Jesse Watusik from our crew center, our research center. And she's a reproductive biologist who has done an ultrasound on a Nile hippo. Yes. Which is mind boggling to me because a, <laughs> a Nile hippo is bigger than my car. And yet you're able to see literally through the side. Uh, yes, the, um, the underside. Yep. Yeah. The belly, yeah. So I know we have some footage of that. Tell a bit about what you're looking for and what you found. Uh, so we use ultrasound basically to try to image the insides of the hippo. We're looking for the baby, uh -huh. um, any signs of the baby. So what we actually found was we can see the spine as well as the ribs. I and know I was looking at it. It is amazing to me on a bunch of levels. And one, that the side of a hippo, uh, how, what's the distance you think from your, your wand to the baby? About a foot, a yeah. A foot of tissue Yeah. until you can see it and yet really distinctly see the spine, yes. even the heartbeat. Yes, we yeah. can see the heart beating, yep, the valves moving, yes. Any other amazing surprises you saw when you were doing that? That was a pretty amazing surprise. Yeah. Uh, last week was the one we first saw yeah. it, and uh, the keepers were very, very excited. Yeah. Um, we were trying to track down the head. It's just very large at this point, and we're working through a lot of tissue, so it's mm -hmm. hard to image a full baby, but it was really exciting. Yeah. Everybody was letting out cheers. And Now, I've seen some of the ultrasound is amazing, but it can't be all that easy to have BB have you say, okay, I'm gonna come in here and do this. What did it take to set that up? A lot of training. Our, we relied really heavily on the keeper staff mm -hmm. to train her. She will lean in towards the side of the yeah. chute so that I can actually reach her. It was kind of different. It was exciting and difficult. I'm used to rhinos and rhinos are higher up off the yeah, ground. Yeah. So you don't, you just bend over a little bit to get the image, but on here it was, it was hard to reach where we needed to get to. She gets a lot of food during the whole time, and as long as she has food, she stands very still. She's right up against the bar, so I'm not actually under her. Um, mm -hmm. I just reach my arm under, and I also have a keeper standing right behind me, letting me know if she looks like she's gonna yeah. move or if I'm in a position that I shouldn't be in. It's brand new, I mean, we, lots of people have, when we were exploring this idea, um, most keepers who work with hippos said, I don't think this is gonna be possible. Hippos are really ornery. They don't really like to be trained well for these types of things. And so they didn't think that we were gonna be able to pull this off. And sure enough, yeah. you know, with enough tenacity, I guess you can. Well, you know, what's fun for me. I, I have three daughters and of course, they were born recently enough that you get ultrasounds and all that. Right. But as a dad, you're like, oh, I, I, <laughs> but when it's something like a hippo, you can tell that it's in there. You can really see the spine. Yeah, you can. That's the exciting part was the bones because yeah. um, they light up very brightly. And yeah. so that's what we were looking for. Finally, the baby got big enough and it dropped far enough down that we were able to de detect it. So it yeah. was great. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing this interview and for doing that work. You know, it's a neat model of what a modern zoo offers because it is exciting for all of us, for the keepers, certainly for our visitors, if the baby comes and everything's successful, but it's also an important part of science. I'm pretty sure this might be the fattest animal ever with an ultrasound. We were talking on the way down, sure we've done elephants. And elephants have a lot of fat, but they're not that thick on the side or the belly like that. So it's pretty amazing to be able to do this and, and learn and, mm -hmm. and uh, that science gets shared through our, our research program here at the zoo. So. Everyone's excited, and this spring, be sure to come down. Hopefully, we'll have a baby hippo swimming in this pool. Oh.